Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Swifty and today we're back in Planet Zoo. We're back in our dedication zoo, which is our zoo in sandbox mode in Planet Coaster, not Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. <laughs> I've been playing that recently. Uh, in Planet Zoo where we have each of our habitats are dedicated to one of you guys who has commented in one of my videos asking for a habitat. So today's video is dedicated to Andrew. Andrew, thank you so much for watching the videos, for supporting the channel, for commenting to ask for a pygmy ha pygmy hi hippopotamus habitat wow that was a bit of a mouthful uh pygmy hippo habitat so that's what we're going to be doing today i had a bit of an idea for this one where i wanted to um make sure we had a lot of underwater viewing because obviously hippos love to be under the water although it's kind of hilarious watching them do it because i didn't realize that hippos like walk along the bottom of the water they don't like swim they just walk along the bottom and this is really quite deep water so it looks kind of hilarious um but you'll get to see that a bit later on you might have already seen that in the intro actually uh, a little bit so yeah we're just working on the terrain at the moment we're going to be putting a path all the way along the sides and the top so they can go up to see the hippos uh, in their habitat you know on the on the land part of their habitat and then they can also walk along the bottom and get a really good view of the underwater area of their habitat so yeah i really hope that you like this build andrew we have of course named the hippos after you we have a male hippo called andrew and a female hippo called andrea uh, so yeah i really hope you like it do comment down below uh, if you do and if you yeah have any suggestions for any changes you want me to make i'll be more than happy to do that so if you want me to build you a habitat in this zoo please do comment down below i don't have any others lined up at the moment so if you do want to be it on this channel in one of these videos you want me to dedicate a habitat to you then please do just comment down below I would love to build you a habitat um, if I don't get any more recommendations then this will be the end for uh, dedication zoo we'll, uh, we'll do some other planet uh, zoo videos and stuff but yeah I was thinking about doing a let's play series which obviously would be real time rather than speed builds so if you guys would be interested in seeing that then please like I say comment down below and let me know if you would prefer a sort of uh, live playing um, yeah style uh, set series of videos um, but yeah that could be quite fun we could do it franchise mode so that we obviously have to like you know make money and um, you know a bit, a bit a bit more of a challenge really uh like that so if you yeah if you'd like to see that then do comment down below so yeah we're obviously we're running out of space a little bit on the main uh, area of the park so we have actually extended out the back now so this um this habitat is accessed by a tunnel that actually goes between the capuchin monkey habitat and the red panda habitat so uh, if you remember the red panda habitat is like a mountainous area and in between the red panda habitat and the capuchin monkeys there's like these you know hills slash mountain type uh, areas and what we did we just sort of tunneled through them so yeah it's actually quite cool uh, like walking through the tunnel to get to the side of the park i think will be quite fun so yeah there's plenty of space over this side of the park for more animals i've also linked it up around the other side um and basically it joins up with the uh, raised viewing for the red panda habitat where also the, the lions are um, sort of in between where you would see the lions and where you would see the red pandas um, there's a bit of path there now that kind of connects around this one at the moment none of the guests are using it because it's a very long way around and there aren't any other animals on this side of the park so they pretty much seem to just come through the tunnel and then go back through the tunnel once they've seen the hippos um, but obviously like I say if we put more animals around here then it will encourage the guests to come around we can also put you know a food court and things like that so if you do want me to build you a habitat in the sea then i would love to do that and even if you've already had a habitat um do comment down below if you want another one <laughs> so i am not opposed to doing more than one we've already had um david has already had uh, both the capuchin monkey habitat and the nile monitor habitat so yeah i'm more than happy to build you another one if you've already got one in the zoo so but yeah like i say do comment down below if you would rather see me do a sort of franchise mode let's play style uh series of videos that would be cool so i decided to make these sort of indents in the barrier where they're like they're basically like little viewing areas um where the guests can get right up close to the glass which is all two-way glass um 
one way glass, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, one way glass so the hippos don't get stressed out or anything. Um, but they can get then a really good view then of the hippos because um, they can kind of it's al they almost get like not 360 but they can if they go to the front part of those past bits they'll be able to see like in front of them and to the left and the right so they'll also get a little bit of a view into those sleeping areas there um, so if the hippos are having a little sleep they can still see them and stuff like that so I thought that worked quite well and yeah, I initially was gonna try and put um, just normal standard hippos in here, and this is me sort of putting them in and then figuring out that it was not gonna work. Um, but I actually didn't have the deluxe version of the game, which has the which comes with the pygmy ha hippo um, species, because there's three species that you only get with the deluxe version of the base game that I, and I hadn't bought the deluxe version but actually in a previous video one of you mentioned when I had asked about it that I could actually upgrade to the deluxe version which I think it was only a tenner in the end so after I tried to put these hippos in and found that I was not nearly enough space <laughs> for full-sized hippos in this habitat I decided that I would go and buy the uh, deluxe version so we could have the pygmy hippos which was what Andrew had specifically asked for anyway so Andrew you got your pygmy hippos okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're just, yeah, the hippos are gonna go in, I'm gonna realise that there's not nearly enough space and I'm not prepared to change the whole habitat, so we then go away and purchase the, uh, upgrade and then put the pygmies in, so. Here we're just putting a bunch of education boards around, putting in our donation bins, you know, all this boring stuff, benches, bins, those kind of things that you just sort of need, otherwise the guests will make your zoo absolutely filthy, or they'll complain that there's nowhere to sit down. <laughs> Oh, all of that fun stuff. So, how have you guys been? Have you had a good week? Do comment down below if you've got anything you want to share. I mean, I'm excited because in the UK, the day that I'm filming this uh, is Saturday the 27th, I think it is, of March. So on Monday, as far as I'm aware, it's still going ahead. They're starting to lift some of the lockdown restrictions in the UK, which I'm really excited about. It means that we can meet in groups of six outside, even in people's gardens, which is going to be such a big change. So, so amazing. So I'm really looking forward to having some friends over for like a barbecue or we also have like a chimney uh, so we can just hang out with the fire and just, oh yeah, it's so nice to just hang out with a few friends. I've been trying to make sure to go for walks and things with um, with friends and, you know, stay in touch with people and uh, all of that. But it's just not the same as seeing more than one person, especially like couples that my, me and my husband know, um, you know, yeah. Um, we miss people so it'll be nice to have people over here we go so that was me trying the hippos deciding that it definitely didn't fit and here we have our pygmy hippos so as always we put them into quarantine first which just makes sure they don't have any illnesses they're not injured or anything and then we're going to pop them into the habitat but i obviously wanted to make sure that there was that there was a bit of continuation in the park so we're going to put a bunch of trees around um also to make it not seem like uh you know there's just massive fields and space <laughs> uh, all around the habitat so I think that works out pretty well these are all like trees that are native to like Europe and the temperate climate which is what the zoo is in rather than uh, being like themed to the, the hippos themselves so here they are they're gonna come in now we're just gonna sort out this pathway obviously we needed to move the fence and we're gonna put this, that same fence that we have everywhere in the park along here i don't put it um all the way around the habitat but i do put it along these paths uh, and a little bit further along as well we obviously needed some lights in this tunnel because it could be a bit dark you don't want to trip up or anything um yeah so we're just kind of getting on with all of that sort of stuff i was wondering guys if there was also any other games that you would like to see me play um there's obviously planet coaster which is the uh which is the other game that Frontier made obviously quite a long time ago. It's, it's kind of what the, this game Planet Zoo is based on, Planet Coaster. I don't have a lot of DLCs for that one. I think I've only got the base game. But if you did want to see me play that, then I'd be more than happy to play that. Obviously, it's a um, theme park simulator rather than a zoo simulator like this. Obviously, we already have Sims 4 content on my channel. If you want to see Sims 3 content, I could make that happen. Or if there's just any other games you want me to play, um, then I... yeah just comment down below I'd be more than happy to, to make that work for you I do actually have another game that I play at the moment called lemon cake 
uh, which I saw Claire Siobhan playing um, and I, yeah it looked really fun so I downloaded it and I've been enjoying that quite a lot but yeah so that's like a uh, cafe simulator type game so you have to like you know make food for your guests and stuff um, and run a cafe essentially um, so if you want to see that just comment down below but yeah we're just putting in a bunch of foliage we've obviously got all the education boards in now i'm about to put a bit more past here so that you can get a bit closer to the underwater area for the hippos i just thought it was a little bit far away where we were so um yeah now you can get pretty close to the water and you can see it i don't know if you can spot them walking along the bottom of the the um pool like they yeah like i said they don't swim they just like walk along the floor of the pool or the bottom of you know the bottom of their habitat which i just it's, it's kind of hilarious and <laughs> they look quite silly so, there you go you know apparently i was asking my husband and he actually he said that he um thought actually that is what hippos do that that is they don't swim they walk along the bottom of whatever you know they must swim a bit though because they do go into like deep water and then they'll they're not like fish they do need to breathe air so they do like then pop out of the water i've like in my mind i'm envisioning you know when you see those little like clips of hippos and they like pop out of the water and they're like out of their nose <laughs> and their little ears like twitch <laughs> it's very cute actually the the pygmy hippos in this game have the ear twitch and it is very adorable so i don't know if pygmy hippos are as dangerous as normal hippos because obviously like full-sized hippos are really dangerous in fact it's one of the most dangerous animals for humans isn't it um i believe i think that's right Let comment down below if you, if you know better than me <laughs> but um yeah i think i think that is right that they are very dangerous especially to humans so i don't know if pygmy but i assume pygmy hippos wouldn't be as dangerous because they're smaller but uh so we're just putting in some more flowers and things, making everything sort of tight together. We don't, like I say, put the actual blue fencing up here, but we do use the same flowers. So there's a little bit of a continuation there, just to kind of tie it all together, really. Um, yeah, we're coming kind of, I think, to the end now, and then we're going to spend a little bit of time hanging out with our hippos and just kind of seeing them enjoy the habitat, I think. Uh, maybe putting a few more yeah bits of foliage around but I think we're basically done as far as I can remember so yeah please do comment down below if you want to uh, have a habitat dedicated to you in this zoo please like this video if you like it and do consider subscribing I release at least two videos every week usually three there'll always be one planet zoo video and one sims video every week and usually there'll be another one either planet zoo or sims or occasionally maybe an I actually haven't done any other games on this channel but I could do if you wanted to see anything else do let me know in the comments um but yeah it really really helps out the channel if you do subscribe thank you so much to my 24 subscribers as of today <laughs> um that's how many we've got and yeah thank you so much for supporting the channel i know that um yeah I, it's probably not a big thing to you to subscribe but it's a big means a lot to me so these are our hippos andrew and andrea and they're just kind of hanging out and this one is obviously enjoying his um mud bath rolling around in the mud this looks like a lot of fun you can see the little ears twitching and uh, the big teeth and tusks and stuff. So yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, like I say, please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll just leave you with the hippos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!